Hello friends. So today I come up with a new update in SAP FI module training. Okay. So today we are going to learn how to pass and render invoice in SAP FI. Okay. And the key code for the same would be FB60, which you are going to utilize for posting vendor invoice in SAP FI. Okay. So first of all, we will discuss about the business transaction. Okay. And then we will pass that business transaction in SAP FI module. So what is the business transaction? Freight invoice received from him transfer. So we have received one freight invoice, which is for 10,000 rupees. And this, for this business transaction, we need to enter a vendor invoice. Okay. So how this vendor invoice can be entered and what is the transaction which we need to post? So the transaction would be the general entry would be freight expenses account debited 10,000 rupees because it is your expenditure and hint transport would be credited with 10,000 rupees. Okay. So this would be your accounting entry for vendor invoice. So now we are going to pass it in SAP FI. So let's begin. So just log into SAP. Okay, and as I told you, the T code is FB60. So enter your T code here, FB60. And then this is the form available where you need to enter the details. Okay, so what details we need to enter? First of all, vendor code. So just click on this search button. Okay, and you have given your company code here. So on this company code, whatever vendor master has been created, system will show you the list for this. So now this is the list. In this, our vendor is Hinter. Select this vendor account. Now we need to enter invoice date. Okay, so invoice date for our example, maybe is 30 11 okay this would be your invoice date now the same date i'm considering for posting this account entry. now in the next column reference you need to enter bill number okay so whatever bill number is there 11. for our example we are considering 11 is the bill number now in this column you need to enter the amount which is 10,000 rupees. Okay. And we are not considering any taxation part as such because this is a simple vendor invoice. So first of all, I will show you the simple vendor invoice. And then in further, uh, further classes, we will see how to pass an invoice with taxation as well. So now I enter here text part. So text is freight invoice book. Okay. And in this column, this is the uh, details which you have entered about the vendor. Okay. And after entering all the details about the vendor, you need to enter the detail about your GL account, which is getting debited. So search for your GL account. So again, I have to, you know, I written here, I have to write here the text part. So there is one GL account 400950 which is created. Okay. Enter that GL account here. And then in this column, you need to enter debit or credit. So we are going to debit this GL account. And in amount column, enter your amount, which is 10,000. Go to the next part. So in this text column, again, you need to enter the text freight invoice book. Company code is automatically captured with the vendor master. And now here in this business area, you need to enter a business area code VAD. Because I have made it mandatory. 
okay so after this you have filled all the details okay press enter and these are the information messages which system will show you if you are posting any accounting and clean sap and you just need to again press enter and enter so when you will finally uh, you know uh, press the final enter then you will be having this right sign with green signal so this means everything uh, the data which you have entered in this line item is correct and here you can uh, see the details of the vendor which you have selected for posting accounting entry and in this uh, section you can see your balance is zero and signal is green that means everything in this vendor uh, line item detail and this general ledger line item detail is correctly entered so one more part i have to enter here so go to the payment block okay where you can see the payment terms which you have attached to this vendor master okay in the next detail call tab we need to enter business area vat vadodara okay and again press the enter so when you will enter the business area here okay all the details has been entered as far as this invoice is concerned now go to simulate button so that you can review the accounting entry okay when you click on this simulate button system will show you this accounting entries getting posted in sap so you can uh, you know review the details document date posting date your period okay your vendor account which is getting getting credited your freight expense ll account which is going debited okay if you will find everything is correct as far as uh, your accounting entry for vendor invoice is, con is concerned then click on post okay so when you will click on post you click on save button system is automatically generating a document number which is this which is unique to this accounting entry and this vendor invoice details you can see with the help of this document number okay so this is how you can pass an accounting entry for vendor invoice in fcp fi for more details keep in touch and uh, like and share this video and if you have any query you can uh, uh, ask in the comment box okay uh, any query regarding this transaction or anything you want to learn about more about fcp fi you can uh, pass any comment in the comment box okay and we will reply as soon as possible So thank you for watching this